Hello and welcome to a special Jurassic video of mine where today we're going over the Tyrannosaurus of Jurassic, the one and only Rexy. I feel as if her story is approaching the end after her final success of happiness in Jurassic World Dominion. She's an old girl now, so it's time we go over her entire story in one video. Be sure to subscribe should you want to learn more, but without any further ado, here is the entire story of Rexy. The first Tyrannosaurus Rex. Rexy's story begins 65 million years ago in the Cretaceous period with her direct descendant. This Tyrannosaurus came face to face with a Giganotosaurus, where they then engaged in a duel to the death. Unfortunately for the Tyrannosaurus, the Giganotosaurus was victorious within this battle. However, a mosquito landed on the dying Tyrannosaurus and absorbed its blood. This same mosquito would later end up in some tree sap, and then be preserved in amber all of these years before being discovered in the year of 1987 by InGen. This same mosquito was also used to create what we now know as Rexy. Rexy was first hatched in 1988 within the InGen compound on Isla Sauna. You're able to see this compound in the recent Jurassic World Dominion movie in the year of 1986. She spent the first year of her life inside the lab being taken care of when she was then transported off to Isla Nublar to be one of the first and main attractions of Jurassic Park. It was said that her paddock was designed for a juvenile species to live amongst her. However, no juvenile was ever transported from Sauna to Nublar and Rexy remained the only Tyrannosaurus on Isla Nublar. Rexy lived out her years through 1989 to 1993, where not much is known of what she got up to, so we can only presume that she casually lived her life within the paddock. Until 1993 where the events of Jurassic Park occur. Rexy was a no-show during the first park tour in which we had our main characters of Grant and Malcolm. Ray Arnold tried to temp her out with some food, but she's a T-Rex. A T-Rex doesn't want to be fed, it wants to hunt. T-Rex doesn't want to be fed, he wants to hunt. As hours go by and a storm approaches the island, Dennis Nedry switched off the power to the park, which included that of Rexy's exhibit. And the rest is cinematic history. Rexy breaks out of her exhibit and explores her newfound territory. The next day, all is known is that she eats a Gallimimus and that she killed two of the Velociraptors within the visitor center at the end of the Jurassic Park movie. The next two movies of The Lost World and Jurassic Park 3 did not feature this specific Tyrannosaurus. However, we hear that during the 1994 cleanup on Isla Nublar showed that the sick Triceratops was dead with a big Tyrannosaurus bite mark in it suggesting that Rexy had a nice and easy meal. After this, our next known incident with Rexy was April 19th, 2002, where Vic Hoskins' crew within the InGen Security Division encountered Rexy on Isla Nublar whilst preparing for the creation of Jurassic World. She was then later captured by the team and placed back into captivity, where she then resided within the T-Rex Kingdom, that's in which we see in 2015's Jurassic World. Jurassic World officially opened in 2005. Rexy lived her days for 10 plus years being fed and hunting animals in her kingdom, where it wasn't until 2015 where Claire Deering let her out of the exhibit to attempt to take down the Indominus Rex during the events of the Jurassic World movie. After this fight in which she almost lost her life, Rexy then left to restart her journey on Isla Nublar once more. We last see her roaring across the whole park of Jurassic World to prove once again that she is the queen of Isla Nublar. Next up, during the events of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 2 in early 2016, it is confirmed that in the first episode that her canonical name is in fact Rexy the Tyrannosaurus Rex. We see her building a nest within her T-Rex kingdom as well as hunting down a Parasaurolophus in the early stages of season 2. 
She later went into battle on Main Street once more, but this time she was hunting down Sammy, Darius, Mitch and Tiff. She was soon to be distracted by a hologram of herself on Main Street before realizing it was a trick and eventually walked off without harming any of the characters. She later came back in the season to chase down a herbivore herd and later killing Mitch, who was dangling from a tree. Not much is known about what happened in the four extra months leading up to Camp Cretaceous Season 3. However, her appearances in this season connect up to Fallen Kingdom's prologue intro. Just before the events of Fallen Kingdom's intro, we learn that there are more mercenaries arriving onto the island. They attempted to rescue the campers before Rexy arrived onto the dock, killed a mercenary and almost the others. She then chased down Yaz, Brooklyn and Darius before being distracted by Jack, the Yellow Jacket Man, where it then lines up almost perfectly to Fallen Kingdom's intro that takes place in 2016. June of 2016, in fact. Her next known appearance is 2018, in the Blue VR Experience game, which is canon. She's seen fighting a Baryonyx as well as Blue the Velociraptor once more just before Wheatley's crew arrives on Isla Nublar. She's then seen running away where minutes later, whilst Mount Sibo is erupting, she saves Owen by attacking a Carnotaurus, fatally killing the meat-eaten bull. She then flees from the area. Later in the movie, it is seen that she in fact got captured and was being airlifted onto the Arcadia. Rexy was then asleep on the boat where Claire and Owen woke her up in attempting to resample her blood for Blue. After killing a goat by arriving into the Lockwood Manor, her next appearance was when the dinosaurs all broke out from the manor. Towards the end of the movie, we see that Rexy comes face to face with the king of the jungle, a lion, within the Californian Zoo. Whilst this is the end of the Fallen Kingdom movie, the story actually continues via the Jurassic World motion comics, within the episode named The Roar That Rules It All. Within this episode, Rexy breaks into the zoo and is almost captured after evading the zoo staff's attempts. She later escapes back into the forest, never to be seen again until the year of 2021. In 2021, we get the events of the Jurassic World short film, Jurassic World, the prologue. During the modern day era in the prologue, Rexy is hunted down by the DFW before she runs into and ruins moviegoers at the drive through cinema scene. After that, yet again evading failed attempts of her being captured, she gets away. Later in Jurassic World Dominion, it is revealed by Ramsey Cole that Biosyn has captured the Tyrannosaurus Rex, meaning the same one from 1993's Jurassic Park, being Rexy. It took Fish and Wildlife three years to catch the T-Rex. The T-Rex is here. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right just before you guys. <laughs> there are a few Tyrannosaurus reports, videos and images on the Dino Tracker website that states that Rexy has been traveling across California, causing multiple disruptions as well as coming up against an Apatosaurus herd and eventually losing that battle. Her next appearance was in 2022, in which she was being transported to the Biosyn Sanctuary. She sees a dead deer that was earlier killed by the Therizinosaurus and decides to have it as a quick and easy snack. Not before the Giganotosaurus arrives and battles Rexy for that meal. Rexy deems that the deer is not valuable enough and thus walks away from the battle. After this, she stays within the sanctuary before all of the animals were ordered through a brain implant to take cover on the facility. There, Rexy and the Giganotosaurus came into conflict once more. Rexy is almost immediately overpowered and knocked unconscious before Kayla Watts fires a flare which lands by the Therizinosaurus, distracting the Giganotosaurus and giving the older dinosaur enough time to recover. Rexy then joins forces with the Therizinosaurus to defeat the larger predator, pushing it into the massive claws of this herbivore, impaling the Giganotosaurus and killing it almost instantly. And finally, at the film's conclusion, Rexy is briefly seen at the Biosyn Sanctuary, standing alongside two other Tyrannosaurus Rexes, eventually finding a family of her own. These two Tyrannosaurus Rexes happen to be none other 
than the Tyrannosaurus of Buck and Doe from Isla Sauna, seen in The Lost World Jurassic Park. And there we have it, the entire story of Rexy, the world's first cloned Tyrannosaurus Rex. All the way from the Cretaceous era to July of 2022. It's been incredible seeing Rexy grow up and become the veteran she is today within this franchise. A well-known and loved dinosaur amongst us, she's now around 35 years of age, as of the final events of Jurassic World Dominion. Whilst I don't think that she has much time left with us, I am sure we will see her again. But what about you? Would you like to see Rexy in the confirmed future movies and shows? Is she your favourite dinosaur? Let me know in the comments. And no, fun fact, her name is not Roberta. That name was actually given to the specific animatronic that was used in 1992's production of Jurassic Park. Her in-universe canonical name is Rexy. If you happen to have enjoyed today's video, please be sure to press that like button and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. But as for today's video, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're all staying safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.